did that? Who did that? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9 a.m. and I put some bird seed out for the birds this morning. The cats have all been enjoying watching them. It's 9.07 a.m. and the cats are eating their breakfast. Looks like Simba's practically done with his already. There's Splash. Splash likes to eat at a little bit of a distance from the other cats. It's just how he is. And they're having homemade raw food for breakfast with some homemade chicken broth mixed in. I warm it up first. And then they all share a squeeze up so they each get like one fourth of a squeeze up. Um, they get a bench and field treat and then they get a few crunchies. And I have found that this combination they really enjoy. Even Boo is eating it without a whole lot of uh, meal toppers on it or anything like that. Sometimes he'll eat like 75% of his food and then he'll want like one of those chicken meal toppers on it. But for the most part, they're they're just really happy. You could see Simba went over and stole what it was left of splashes. You know, the only one thing that they really can't do is leave some food for later because somebody will usually eat it. And I have to keep an eye on Stella because she will go and pretty much clean off Boo's plate if Boo doesn't finish it. There's a lot of noise up in the kitten room right now, so I want to go up and see what they're doing and start cleaning them. Um, but at the same time, I want to keep an eye on Boo so that Stella doesn't steal his food. Good morning, everybody. Let me tell you what's going on in here. So, last night, um, I probably went to bed, I don't know, 11.30, and just as I was about to fall asleep, Somebody knocked, somebody knocked this air purifier onto the ground and it made, it made the biggest noise I've ever heard come out of this room, right Sammy? I think it was Sammy because when I came into the room she was the only guilty one. So thankfully it does not appear to be broken from the fall and I was able to just put it back up and it continued working. And then at 3.30 in the morning, I was woken up to another really big, another really big noise in this room, right Sammy? What was that big noise? What was that big noise, Nancy? That big noise was this camera being knocked off the shelf again. And who did that, Sammy? Who knocked the camera off the shelf? You did it last time. Did you do it this time also? She's claiming it. I haven't looked at the security camera footage because I was too tired. I came in, put it back on the shelf, and went straight back to bed. So, yeah. I gotta, I gotta see who, who did that. Hopefully the camera will show the guilty party. And let's look at what they did here. So, I attached one of the wand toys to this doorknob. So here's the fishing line, here's the fishing line, and there's the fishing line. You probably can't see it because it's clear, but somebody cut the fishing line in half. And here's the toy that was hanging on it. See? Can you see? I know it's hard to see. Can you see what they did? See how there's only a little bit of fishing line left on this? Yeah, so they're on to the fishing line trick also. They just snap it in half, get the toy. It is 9.40 a.m. I just gave the cats their breakfast, homemade raw food, with some warmed up chicken broth and some crunchies on top, and I was able to pet Ziggy twice, and then she kind of moved away from me. I was able to pet Nancy, Sammy, and Richard. Those three are good with pets, and I'm still working on the other four. They're a little freaked out today because I did vacuum the room. So they don't like it when I bring the vacuum in here. So they're a little bit on edge, but that's okay. They're eating on the uh, paper platters on the ground. All the toys are on the day sofa, so I'm going to move a few off. Once they're done eating, I'll move the platters away and put more of the toys on the ground. Who's this? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Eva. So the cats have been sitting in the dark for a while because I just got home. 
It is 8.35 p.m. I got home maybe 10 minutes ago. And I was out pretty much all afternoon. I did not plan on being out all afternoon, but it was just a very efficient day. So I ended up being out all afternoon. So what happened was, hey Sammy, I left the house around 1 p.m. to run a few errands and I thought, okay, I'll be back by 3 p.m. the latest. I thought I'd be back probably like 2.30. Well, when I was running my second errand, I ended up walking into a store and they're like, the entire store is 25% off. And I had no idea. So what I was buying ended up being cheaper than I thought it would be. And then I was like, well, let me see if I could do some Christmas shopping while I'm here. So I ended up doing some Christmas shopping and it was a really good deal. Um, it was actually Bed Bath & Beyond. And when I left the store, I said to myself, well, there's another Bed Bath & Beyond down the road, like probably, I don't know, five miles down the road or something. And I know they're going out of business. The other location is going out of business. I didn't know if they were still open or what, but I figured they'd probably have at least 25% off the entire store, if not more. So I started driving in that direction. And as I was driving there, I made a few stops. Like I stopped off at Trader Joe's, picked up some things that I needed for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, then I went to Stu Leonard's and I actually got a turkey for Thanksgiving. So that worked out great. And then I ended up at the other Bed Bath & Beyond it. Everything in the store was 40 to 75% off. So I only got one thing there. I got something for the cats, um, like one of these electronic toys for the cats. It was only like $12. So, um, but then I went to TJ Maxx, which was right there. And I got a good amount of Christmas shopping done there. And then on the way home, I stopped off at um, a few stores. I went to Marshall's. I think I went to two Marshall's and then I looked at Hobby Lobby. I didn't get anything at Hobby Lobby. And I did get some things at Marshall's. Again, I got more Christmas shopping done. So even though I was out and running around for like seven hours, I got so much done. It was crazy. It was like every store was fully stocked with brand new merchandise for Christmas. It was like I was at the right place at the right time to get a whole bunch of really good deals. So I figured, you know, let me get it done. That way I don't have to go out and, uh, you know, run these errands again. Or hopefully I might not even have to go out and do any more Christmas shopping as far as like the majority of it goes. I honestly think I got almost, almost everything that I wanted to get for Christmas. Like I definitely checked a lot of people off my Christmas list. Um, and I was able to just get them their presents today. And I think I... Might only need to go out um, a few more times. And I almost have everything I need for Thanksgiving. I was hoping to avoid stores this weekend because the stores this weekend around here are going to be a zoo. I mean, between uh, Christmas coming up and Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to avoid as much as possible. So. I'm gonna kind of inventory everything tonight or tomorrow morning and then if I need anything, I'll just run to the supermarket tomorrow for anything else I might need. But for the most part, I think I'm done for Thanksgiving. So what I need to do now is I need to scoop the litter boxes and then give the cat some food. So Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo are eating their dinner. They're getting canned food and tomorrow's fish day. So then they'll get some canned fish. And these cats are going to be getting the kitten pate for dinner. And if I have some time, I'll come in and play with them a little bit later. But they had some playtime this morning. They really enjoyed it. You okay? Is 
everybody okay? It's 9 p.m. I was just coming back into the room with dinner when someone knocked this over. And I want to blame this on Nancy because Nancy has been climbing on this table and then like climbing on this shelf. And this is the second time now that this has been knocked over. So what that tells me is I need to remove this from the room. So yeah, I'm just going to have to remove it from the room and figure out where I'm going to put the stuff that's in it. Really the top shelf is full of um, supplies and um, things for the cats. The rest I could figure out, but yeah. So today I was in the Dollar Tree and they had this giant tray or platter and I thought I would get one for the cats and see if they'll eat off of it all together. So I have four cans of cat food on there. I thought I was going to give them the um, the kitten food, but I decided to give them the Nature's Promise, um, the supermarket food that I get, um, the all-natural supermarket food. And right now there's five cats eating on the platter. There's still plenty of room for two more. So this might work out well. Um, Ziggy and Goldie are a little afraid, probably because the shelf fell. I mean, it was loud. I was like, what the heck is going on? So maybe Goldie knocked it down? I don't know, because I don't see Goldie. I hope she's okay. I'm going to have to look for her under the day sofa. But look, there's six cats eating, and there's still room for like two more cats. Goldie's in the corner underneath the day sofa. Hopefully they'll leave some food for her. But look, it looks like this is working out well. I don't know if I mentioned it, but today is Ringo's one month anniversary for being in this room. So I can't believe how fast the past month has gone by. So Sammy spent a month in here, Richard, Goldie, Nancy, and Ringo. And next week it'll be Eva and Ziggy, and then all the cats will have spent a month in here. And hopefully the stool test that I'm getting done next week will come back negative. Then I could start putting gates in the door and letting the cats see each other, smell each other, interact with each other through the gates. It's 9.20 p.m. They have licked the platter clean. And I came in here to check on Goldie. She's, she's back in the corner and she's... She appears to be okay, and she did not come out to eat, so that's why I was checking on her. And when I was looking underneath the day sofa, I saw this, and I was like, what the heck is that? So I pulled the bed out, and it appears, this appears to be the stuffing for this bed. So, I don't know how they did that, but they, I don't know if they were chewing on it, I don't know what they were doing, but so I I pushed it back in and I think this can be sewed shut. So this is definitely a bed that they've used a lot and I'm just making sure there's nothing weird in here. No, it's just a lot of stuffing and um, yeah, so I think I'm going to remove this from underneath the day sofa because they're just going to get more of the stuffing out. Look at Ringo. He likes playing there underneath that cat tower with that that toy with all those arms sticking out of it. Hey Eva. How are you, Eva? Hey Ringo. You got a full belly? Your belly full? Yeah? You're relaxing? He looks tired. I wonder what they did all day. They probably slept all day. Here is a new toy that I got for the cats today. It's called Pop and Play. And it was originally $19.99. I got it for $11.99, so that's a good deal. To me, it looks really similar to this toy that the cats have. 
because it has this thing which sticks out of, you know, these various openings. It's about the same size. They both use 4C batteries, so I figured let's try it out. Um, a neat thing about this one is that it has two extra toys, so if this toy gets ruined, um, there's two other toys. There's a little mouse you can put in here, and then there's another feather toy. So let's turn it on and see if the cats like it. So there's two buttons. One button says power, the other one says sound. So let's hit... I hit sound, it didn't do anything. Let's hit power. I'm going to hit sound. Alright, so if, if we take the sound off, it doesn't make that tweeting noise. So this will stay on for 15 minutes and then it shuts itself off, which is really similar to the blue toy. So how long will it take before the cats break this? Oh, so that's cool. I like how they can stick their paws in the holes. I gave one to the other cats also. Boo's looking at it. I wonder if they would like it better if I put like a blanket over it or a piece of cloth or something. Okay, maybe he'll like it better if I put the sound on. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.